Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Eric and this will be the sixth video where I just talk to a camera about whatever the hell is going on in my personal life, in my life in general to the camera. I often forget to do these exercises but I think that they're quite beneficial just to get ideas out there and just to show that life, you know, is an experience and it's not gonna be always you know straight in terms of how you feel so it's just a nice journal for me to do stuff I'm gonna talk about yesterday um, I had a psychedelic experience with 2.75 grams of mushrooms they were specifically the um, psilocybin cubensis I don't know fucking <laughs> Golden Teacher, Golden Teacher strain with um, psilocybin cubensis. That's the, well, psilocybin is the main ingredient. Anyways, let's get into the experience. Uh, so I do want to talk about why I did it, um, what I got out of it, and yeah, just kind of how I feel now. <laughs> you know, a day afterwards, the next day. First of all, you might notice I got a haircut. Um, it's not too bad honestly not my favorite not gonna lie um i feel like there's something missing about it must be the fact that my hairline's receding but um not sure when i think of beard um as i you know grow that it will make it quite a bit better so yeah okay let's talk about yesterday and my whole experience i think it was very up and down, up and down, up and down. Very stressful times. I had a lot, I mean a lot of kind of anxiety, a lot. And I just didn't know what the hell I was getting myself into, mostly. But once it did hit, um, I did a nice meditation and I had an experience that was quite strange actually. <laughs> it was, like almost out of body experience where I was taking my breaths out, letting them go for each breath in. You know, and as I was doing that, I could feel um, some of my worries lessening, but at the same time, a lot of emotion coming out. <laughs> Like uh, a lot of emotion was flowing through me <laughs> and pretty strongly too. I, I could really notice that I broke down a few times crying, which I have not done in a very long time. Um, so it was really nice in that way. <sighs> but also part of me felt defeated as though I had nothing left to offer as though I was essentially I became very aware of some of the darkness in my own head in terms of my thought, my thought process and just how I feel in general on a day to day. And it was important to see that because it allowed me to have an honest conversation with myself, which was a very strange conversation in the mirror. Let me tell you, it was like different parts of me were breaking off and I'm just like, I'm just, you know, interrogating myself. Very strange. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty cool, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so overall the experience gave me a different perspective, which was well needed, but also left me feeling a bit depleted as well. Um, and I think that's usually how people feel the next day, because sometimes when you're on, on that drug, you don't realize how fucked up you are. You know, you think that you're kind of sober, but you're really not. You're really not. Um, it's like your thought process becomes so fucking different than what it usually is, but you're also fully immersed into it, so sometimes you don't even notice that anything's different. Um, sometimes you can get so into it that you start to believe that this will be your reality forever. It can be a very scary thought, and that's how people have very bad trips or very challenging trips. So let's say yesterday was bordering a bad trip, so I did resist quite a bit of it, 
but also gained a lot from it. So I'm glad that I did it. And I think it'll lead to growth in the future. As long as I put the effort in. And that is really just to stick out what I'm doing, but actually also checking in on myself. Like what I'm doing right now, which is, I guess, some kind of check in to myself, you know, a way to check in. And just have honest conversations. Because if you don't have that, how well, often you keep all these emotions bottled up. You don't express them. And then you end up with all these issues that bring you down and make make it harder to focus on your work. Um, make sometimes life feel like there's no meaning, no purpose, no nothing. You know, very monotonous. You get to a point where you're just like, in, in a routine that doesn't feel fulfilling. So it's good to check in on yourself, ask yourself, you know, is what I'm currently pursuing giving me, is my current routine, is my current way of life suiting me? It's a good question to ask. Um, so yeah, I woke up this morning, I had quite the, quite the headache, not gonna lie. I did a hike yesterday too, it was very, very nice for a good friend. Um, just a very nice experience overall. I had a phone call with one of my good friends as well. While I was kind of peeking, <laughs> peeking on the experience, and it was it was nice to talk to him in an honest way, see how he's doing, and having his support. Today, yeah, I heard that. Got to spend some time with him again. Got some food, and I still have a feeling of like emptiness. I guess a bit of like, what the hell. But um, after this, I'm going to be meditating for a bit to just kind of reflect because I think that's another thing that's very important. Just doing a bit of that, you know, doing a bit of it. I don't have to go crazy, but even just five minutes a day, just having a few deep breaths and checking in on yourself once again, having these habits like journaling, for example. And you really don't have to do it for that long. Just five minutes, two minutes maybe, just a few words. But just do something. Um, and yeah, most importantly, don't give up. You know, life. Just a few days ago, I felt very stressed out, very unsure of my future. I still do, but less stressed out. More like it's gonna be fine. You know, I'm in a bit of control, and I don't need to be at the wheel all the time. I can just let life. Not pass me by, but I can ex I can be a bit more accepting of my current condition and try to change the things that don't work. So, yeah, I meditate a bit, reflect, and wishing future me who may or may not watch this video a happy day. Hope you're doing well. And if anybody else watches this, well, I'm wishing you as well a very happy day. So... Have a good one.